But it's been a long day. Go ahead. Okay, but, uh, let me get. You. Let's do this first. So here's one A. You see, it has a missing view. So you have to figure out what the front view is, and then do the isometric. This is two A. They're missing the top view, and then you have to do the isometric. And then O. You got all three views, but you, all you have to do is isometric. So, how would you start out on this? What would you do first? What? Projector lines. Yep, projector lines. So, so which lines would I project first? Yeah, maybe to the outside of it. So I can see that it's going to be that whole thing. So I know it's going to be like that, right? We, we can see that. Because this is full height, and this is full width, so this is going to be the full area. <clears throat> so what would I do next? like to work front to back. So yeah, I know the stuff that's here toward, on the front side of the top view, I know that's going to be visible. I know the stuff back here is probably going to be hidden. So I like to work front to back. So I can bring that down and that over. And what's that going to give me? Someone say rectangle. Front box. Yeah, get a box there, right? Might as well bring it across too. Then bring that corner down. So I get that right. Okay. So let's work. Let's do that on nice metric. Let's just do this. This edge on the nice metric. So all I want is, is this red edge there, right? Where is that outline on the side view? I know it's that, and that, and that, and that, right? It has to be that, because that's the only thing that's there. But which, which of these lines connect on the side? On that angle? Yeah, the angle, right? Because this line is over here, so that's a cutout. It has to be there. So there's that side view. So I'll start this time because I know that I'll start here on this side because that's I know that's going to be visible. It's a good good place to start. Now I need to find that corner. How do I find that corner? I go up three. Three. Over two. Or actually, that's back, right? So this is over. That's back. Now I can connect those two lines. Now, can you count them the other way? Go where you started your green line. I could go this way and then up. Yeah. Yeah. It works. I just I'd have to go over and then up. Yeah. Right, back and up. And then from here, back to and then connect it. So that's how to do it. And then I can figure out the rest. Okay. So I can see from here it's gonna go over two. That back edge go the whole way. So I, I can kind of work that way. I can go forward to, so I can, I can work it out that, like that. Okay. 
So you can kind of, just, since I know that point, I come over or down. I can come over there. I can figure it out. <clears throat> Remember, you're going to have the same number of faces. So if you're looking at it from the front, how many faces should you have? Three. Yeah, three. You should have a big upside down T <coughs> and two rectangles when you're looking at it that way. Okay. Questions? All right. What about that one? What's that front view going to look like? Chopped off box. Yeah, kind of a chopped off box. this solid edge here gives me that top corner. How do I know that this edge isn't down here? It would be, be hidden, right? Yeah, if this one was the, down there, it would be hidden. And this one's the other side. And I can tell that because this line and that line are the same, right? Yeah. And that line, that line are the same. So the green line where the intersect is there, the orange line is where the intersect is there. And I can tell that because there's my orange. They line up. So you can use that minor line to figure out what things are. Because if it's the same, it's going to be the same length in both views and lining up. So if you bring that up and only one thing lines up, that's what that thing is. And that's an easy way to, to figure out, okay, what's what's what? Look, try, bring it up and over from the two extremes and see what lines up exactly with it. Whatever lines up with it, that's what it is. Okay. So it also has some lines went across, right? So I have a line here, a line there. Hidden line there. Remember your hidden lines, they need to connect the ends. If you're going perpendicular or into another line, they need to connect. If it's going end to end with a solid line, you need to have a space. So if you had a, a solid line, you'd want to leave a space between your head before you did your head line. Okay. So now how would I start on this on the isometric? Where would I start? Probably start with this box right here. So that's a nice flat thing that I can, once I find this corner, I can start to work my way around. So if this corner is this corner, that box actually is one back, right? Yep. And we know that that's on the very top, so I can pick there, and it's three deep. Oh no, that's that top piece right here. And now I need to find that corner, right? I want to find this corner, that red corner. Put it on your guys' screen. Right, you guys got it now? Is that better? You remind me to do that. Alright, so how am I going to find that corner? 
Can I just go down and over? No, it's sliding. It's sliding both directions, right? But it's no, not oblique. It's just about two slants working. So I need to find down, forward, and to the side to find that, right? So let's get some colors I'm not using already. Actually, yeah, let me just erase all this. No, not all that. Let's see, I'm going to need to go forward. Actually, let's, let's do it on the side view. I'm going to go forward one, right? So from here, I'm going to come forward one. Make that a thinner line. Forward one, forward one, right? Then I'm going to go down one. Down one. See that? And then, so that takes me to this point, right? And so far, I'm staying here. I just moved to here. I just moved from here to there. So I'm forward and down one. And now I need to go to the side a half, right? So I'm going to go to the side a half. Forward, down, to the side. And the order I did it doesn't matter as long as I do all three. So that's where that red dot is. And actually, I can just connect that now. So that looks like it's going the wrong way, huh? Shouldn't it go that way? But remember, it came out towards me. So sometimes it looks wrong, but you know your measurements are right, so go with it. Don't try and change it so it looks right, because you're not realizing that, yeah, it's going back out too. So that back corner, this is an easy one, right? Back corner just does that. So it just goes over and down. And I can connect those two. And I just keep doing that for all the other points. So going down that point, what do I do? Do I have to come forward at all? No, because no, it's, it's a vertical edge, so I'm not going, I'm no purple. But on the orange, I've just got down two, right? And then to the side, I have one. So I'm going to go down two, over one, like that. Now is it starting to look more correct? Yes. Does the line look more correct now? See, so wait until you get to the end to, to see if it looks correct or not. Don't just do one line and go, that can't possibly be right, and spend an hour on it. Just go to the next step, try and connect some more points, and then you'll get done and you're like, okay, now is it right or not? So once it's finished, then you can tell a lot easier if it's looking correct. Questions? Yes, no. Don't say that. I hate that. <laughs> then these are the next ones. So what, what do we know about that right there? Angle. Yeah, it's at an angle, right? And we've got an angle there. Here we've got a nice, because we've got an angle here, but it's also got an angle going that way. So make sure you count your points. Count your boxes. And then here's the oblique one. <clears throat> so, again, count your boxes. Break it down into pieces. So maybe try the, getting the outer shape of it on the isometric. And then cut it off the corners. Also, if you see two lines that are parallel here, they're going to be parallel in your isometrics as well. So if you do that and these two lines aren't parallel up here, you know there's a problem. Okay? But 
break it down, kind of break it to the outside. And then once you find the outside, just come down that much from the corner, go over, go back from the corner, and connect your lines. Same thing here, do the bottom piece. And then add this piece on the top. And this is another one you're going to look at and go, that can't possibly be, be right. Because this is turned at what angle? Really? What angle is that? That's 45, right? Yeah. If I measure this, that's 45. So when I'm looking at an isometric, what angle am I looking at it from? I'm looking at it from that corner, right? At 45, I'm looking at it directly that way. So what's that going to look like to me? It's going to look flat, right? That's what's going to throw people off. That's what it usually throws people off. Is that you, what you get doesn't look like what you think it should look like, but it's just because you're looking at it from that direction, you're going to look straight at it. Okay? Questions?